I want to take a, a few videos and talk about some other stuff that's going on, and then I'll get back to the other stuff that I was going to do. Um, because yeah, I tell you what, there's some there's some really trippy things happening. Okay, now first thing I want to talk about. Um, just last night, this trip. I met this woman, you know, in singlenet.com. Talking to this woman, I won't say her name or nothing like that, but I want to give you examples of things that happen when they come up. And this one was really probably the worst. This was the worst one I met yet so far. So we're talking, and uh, she gives you know trade each other's Yahoo. Add to the Yahoo. We're talking. Everything seems great. What are you looking for in a woman? I name a bunch of things and I ask, what are you looking for in a guy? And she goes, the same thing. I go, that's kind of cheating, you know. And she goes, like, well, don't tell the teacher I cheat off of you. So, you know, it really was fun and humorous, it seemed. But then, um, all of a sudden, well, we was talking about weight. You know, I guess she's overweight. So she was wondering if I, if I would be with somebody overweight and all that. And so I asked her how much she weighed because, you know, I mean, I say it. I don't know why everybody's got to be so private and personal about how much they weigh. Big deal. I mean, I was with overweight people, the last two people I was with, 11 years and 8 years. So not like I'm going to be judging or anything. So anyway, she just said, like, uh, I don't want to tell you because uh, then you would know how I got that way. And I'm going, like, oh, what, for meds? Because I just talked to somebody else that was like that. Their medication is what made them get overweight. So anyway, she goes, uh, yeah, and I said, oh, is it for OCD? Because I just recently had one of those types that I was talking to. And then she goes, like, no, and I said, it's bipolar, isn't it? And she goes, yeah. All right. So then um, we ended up talking on the phone for like seven minutes, and we was talking about that, about the illness and stuff. And I asked, you know, if she did drugs, if uh, she had a criminal past, and she did have a criminal past, which I, you know, I'm thankful that some of, the, you know, some of these people tell the truth and, say, you know, what they've been in trouble with, because you don't want to find out later on, do you? No. Well, anyway, here were some of the main things. She got in trouble for stealing, and of course she didn't bl blame herself. It was I was at the wrong place at the wrong time, and my, I was holding this stuff from my friend and all that, right? <laughs> okay, so she got in trouble for that, for stealing. And then the second one was, somehow I broke, in, I broke into the school's mainframe, the computer. She's even taking computers right now and going for a GED. Now, this woman was 27. Anyway, um, I'm thinking, like, accident? How could, she's like a teacher or a teacher's aide or whatever like that. But suppose, she said that she got in trouble for breaking in. How could you do that by accident? Okay? No, I don't think so. I think she was looking for something and she did that. Then the biggest one was she got in trouble for domestic violence. She said, this is how it went. He put her in a closet, he beat her up, and she was covered with blood, bruises and marks and all that. And she grabbed a, fire, a frying pan with a, a steel ones and hit him over the head and knocked him out. When the police came, they saw him knocked out, and so she got arrested. He didn't get in trouble, he was the victim, and she got five years probation. Now, that story, again, did not make any sense to me whatsoever, because if she was covered in her own blood and she had marks and all that, they're going to look at it as self-defense. He's knocked out because she had to. Okay? No. I think she was twisting on all those things. And I told her, like, you know, I profile people and stuff like that. And I said, if a person lies to me, I'll know and all that. All of a sudden, she lost connection of the phone. Then all of a sudden, she logged off Yahoo. Okay? <laughs> so then I go, like, well, that's fine. So I said to her, well, thanks for the chat and all that. Because it was a good chat. We talked about all sorts of different things. About kids. She has one kid. And I talked about mine. So then I go back to the chat room and she's there. Okay, she made it look like she had lost connection on the internet. So anyway, I said, "Oh, oh we both came back. We both came back to the room at the same time." And LOL like that. And then she goes like, "Guys, Malk is really bothering me. Help!" Like that. And I'm thinking like she's playing because we had just got done talking. Everything was perfectly fine. Okay, she wasn't. Before you know, it, the woman's attacking me. Like I just recently got stood up on a date and I told her about that. So she was sitting there going, well, now I know why that woman uh, stood you up. And I said, okay, this is what a true bipolar person is like this. They change. See? And I said that in the room. Then she tried to say, I'm not bipolar. I said, yeah, she told me you were bipolar since you were four. And she goes, no, I'm not. And all this stuff. And so I saved the chat, you know, in Yahoo. It's in the history. And I copied and pasted it because before you know I had two guys attacking me because she's the female 
and they want to be the alpha male. <laughs> so, well, you know, they're attacking me without knowing that this woman is. Okay? So, anyway, uh, after I copied that, she shut her mouth. Okay, she did. But I have a funny feeling that I'm going to have problems with this woman later. Um, so then, you know, I started Googling her name and stuff like that. I came up with a bunch of stuff. This woman is not. Huh, anybody that ends up with this woman is going to be in some really bad hurt. Okay? I do not believe her stories. And this is what I mean. But at least she was honest. Think about it. If she hadn't told me nothing, we would have gotten a relationship. And then I would have found out the hard way. Ding! Right? Get mad and stuff like that. So anyway, just these kind of things can happen. So you know, watch out for the watch out for the clues, no matter how small they are. You guys have a good one. Take care and God bless. Bye.